And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Atrociraptor, which was a request from DinoBo via our Discord and Patreon, so thanks. Atrociraptor was a dromaeosaurid theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous and what is now Alberta, Canada, in the Horseshoe Canyon Formation. It's closely related to Deinonychus, and it may have had feathers. It was probably about the same size as Dromaeosaurus. Atrociraptor lived after Dromaeosaurus, possibly even alongside Dakotaraptor. Atrociraptor is estimated to be about 6.5 feet or 2 meters long and weigh 33 pounds or 15 kilograms. The skull was about 6.7 inches or 17 centimeters long, and it had this short, tall skull, a, a short, deep snout. Atrociraptor was carnivorous, and its teeth had large serrations. The teeth are isodont, so they're all about the same size. The holotype had a maxilla, the upper jaw, with a really great set of teeth. There were no noticeable gaps. Yeah, a lot of times you see dinosaurs and they have like one tooth coming in and then there's a gap where there isn't a tooth. Especially with tyrannosaurs, you see their teeth are all janky all the time. This one, it's like they're totally even. It's more like the representations you see of Carcharodontosaurus and stuff, which is kind of the solid set of smaller serrated teeth without many gaps. Garrett grew up talking about teeth, so he always yeah, notices teeth. I do. There also isn't much else going on with this dinosaur. Mm. So the type and only species is Atrociraptor marshalli. It was discovered in 1995 by Wayne Marshall, which is how it got its species name. It found parts of the upper and lower jaws, including the teeth. And the teeth found in the Horseshoe Canyon Formation were previously thought to belong to Sornithelestes, and now they're thought to be Atrociraptor because the teeth were so distinct. Atrociraptor was named in 2004 by Philip Curry and David Vericchio, and the genus name means savage robber. And then, as I mentioned, the species name is in honor of Wayne Marshall. It was found about three miles or five kilometers from the Royal Terrell Museum, and so now the fossils are housed there. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. If you're just down the road from one of the world's largest dinosaur museums, it's a good place to put them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird that it's the closest relative to Deinonychus, which was so much earlier than it, even though it's like closer in size and time and place to Dromaeosaurus, but not as closely related. Lots of weird stuff happens in evolution. Yes. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 